After the last video about guns for new turrets with their standard ammunition, I saw quite a lot of players change their base defense to this bad boy. And that didn't surprise me at all as it did so well. Destroying your enemies in just one second, Python became a very good base defense option. I got a lot of requests from you to do the rest of the guns. People kept screaming that Naked Man's most favorite gun, Yoka, is very OP. So I went to test all the shotguns and believe me, the results were very surprising. Now there are still some myths going around about guns with scopes, laser sights and muzzle brakes. So let me get the record straight. All the ones I just mentioned have no effect on the distance the turret starts shooting the player. It will always be 10.3 foundation, no matter if it's Yoka or M2 with 16x scope. Now if you want to see just the end results and my conclusions, please skip to this timestamp. The first section of testing is done on Ratchet wearing player with 100 HP. We are going to be counting the time from first hit till the shot that downs or kills him. I have decided that the best way to do this is to test the turrets at half their range, 5 squares. I've sped up some of the videos as they got too long to bear and proved no additional information. Slug shots however are natural speed as there is important bits to see. Now with the Oka Slugs, the general rule is that the further you are, the more they miss. Being at maximum range, you can avoid approximately half the shot. Waterbot for some reason proved to be the slowest reloader, which is really disappointing. Incinery shots proved to be more a nuisance than an actual threat. You could easily walk away and get cover. I was really surprised to see how much water pipe equipped with bug shots missed. This weapon is definitely not equipped for base defense. Even though water pipe being a really shit gun, equipped with slugs, it provided quite a decent performance.
And so here we are ladies and gentlemen, as anticipated, slugs turn out to be the best ammo for medium to long range. Of course, Spaz being the fastest shotgun performed the best and scored number one. What surprised me that Ioka did quite well. Even though the reliability of that is questionable, in my free tries, this was the average time it took to kill a player. But Nexus, how well the slugs perform in comparison to other guns you might ask? Well, not too good. Faster shotgun turned out to be just a little bit quicker than revolver. Close range, however, proved to give very different results. I measured close range with full metal armor as it has huge effect on timing. Ratsuit dies too quick to give repetitive results. And so, to no one's surprise, from one square away, Buckshots won the session, being roughly 4 seconds quicker than Slugs. The tendency we saw earlier continues as Yoka reload speed is so quick that it is close second to Spaz Shotgun being the first. Now even though having full metal armor 5 squares away gives you enough time to run away from the turret, Spaz will get you in 5.5 seconds. We see Yoka drop off and there's a very good reason for it. Slugs on Yoka have a tendency to miss and the more shots it takes to kill a player, the more misses it makes. This was part 2 of the series. In the next episode I will be showing attachments, impact of different bullets and best combos as well as turret exploits. Quick spoiler, new turrets are easily drainable. If you want to find out how, please like and subscribe. Last video did really well and I would love to continue making more of them. Thank you very much if you watched this till the end. Nexus UK from Lucid Gaming.